From brewing tea to brewing beer, Brian McElhatton takes us around town for a liquid lesson. January is National Tea Month. Now, most of us probably just put a tea bag in a mug and call it a day, but I met a woman who showed us the proper way of having tea. It warms your tummy. Did you, did you feel that in your stomach when you drink this nice? I feel it go down. Mm -mm. Ann Stokes is as sweet as they come, like all the sugar cubes in the world landed in her teacup, and nearly as sweet as her prized peach preserves. I want a blue ribbon for these. And if you take her up on tea service lessons, you just might win some awards yourself because... A lot of people don't know anything about tea. First, she says, you have to boil your water, then place loose leaf tea in the teapot. That was four, five, usually six, and one for the pot. And now we move to the dining room. I'm setting the table now. Where detail is very important. Should be this way. And now we pour a little milk into the cup and a sugar cube. Oh, you can put two if you like to. I only like one. Oh, well, there's enough sweetness here to go around. Just one. <laughs> That's so cute. Then you pour your tea through a strainer and you're ready to sip. There's more, but we won't brew it all up today. If you'd like to take one of Ann's classes, you can email or call her. Just head to thelistshow.tv to find out more. And our liquid lesson wouldn't be complete without mentioning a new local brew. It's called Sex Panther. It's made with bits of real panther, so you know it's good. Just kidding. That's a line from the movie Anchorman from which this brew gets its name. The suds were born from the masters at Chandler's Santan Brewery. This winter seasonal is a double chocolate porter with hints of truffle and molasses. Available on draft and in 12 ounce cans, the seasonal brew is only available this month, so if you want a taste, you better hurry up. For The List, I'm Brian McElhaney.